I'm with the GCV production, and at Granger High School, there are people from 43 different countries speaking 41 different languages, and with most people, English is their second language. So we caught up with Mr. Bengali with his ESL program to see what it's like. What does an ESL teacher do, and what is ESL? ESL means English as a second language, meaning we have students who come in here with very little or no English. And what we do in the ESL program is to teach them English in such a way as they can quickly pick up the basic English they need in order to understand what is going on in any other class. So what are some of the challenges of being an ESL teacher? Oh, what a great question. ESL, like any other subject, has its own challenges. And some of the challenges we face in ESL includes the fact that the ESL students, many of them do not seem to appreciate the opportunity they have. I mean, the most frustrating part for me is when students come in knowing they don't have English, they know nothing in English, and they need to learn English they choose to waste their time in the English class, no matter what you do. The other challenge, one, another challenge of the ESL program is to get these kids motivated and make them understand that they need English, not only for school, but outside of school. Just yesterday, a student, one of my pre-beginning students brought me a small letter that she wrote in Spanish. I could understand it, thanking me and how I have been helpful and that her English is growing, she is getting more and more confident every day. And she said, I think it is all thanks to you. And I have many other stories like that, and that makes my day. So thank you, Mr. Bengali, for the interview. Thank you. You guys are doing a great job. Mm -hmm.